we take them at day five, we think, why are we doing a seven day vacation with people? And the first week was Peter's family and the second week with my family. And it was lovely. My kids are at an age now where they can play with their cousins independently for significant periods of time. And so um, I do think we're going to need to do it more often than, than we have been seeing people. Yeah. Um, but family is still family at the end of the, <laughs> at the end of it. And you're like, oh, okay, I could use another vacation, but we all have suntans. Nobody got a blistered sunburn. So I'm going to call that a win. All right. Okay. So we're going to start off today on our backs. Just, yeah, starting to roll around finding a position that feels good or some movement that feels good. And we're gonna take a few breaths, um, some breath work actually in legs up the wall. So if you have a wall that you can put your legs up, that is ideal. If you don't, um, or anything, piece of furniture is fine. If you don't have something like that, legs can just reach up towards the ceiling, but it won't be quite as relaxing. So let's get the legs up, head down. Everything is relaxing. Let's start to find really intentional breaths. See if you can expand the belly towards the thighs as you inhale. and then reversing that as you exhale. Now see if you can find a little um, retention in between the inhale and the exhale, maybe three to five uh, beats. Take three more breaths. And then we're gonna pull the knees in towards the chest. We're gonna come into any variation of your um, plow pose. So you can just lift the hips a little bit or lift them a little bit more. We wanna make sure that the weight is still staying in the shoulders. So um, upper back is not lifting away from the ground. And let's keep the knees bent this round, unless you're really not feeling any kind of stretch.
one more breath and then we'll roll down. We're gonna keep the legs up, point the toes. Arms can go anywhere you like. We're gonna just lift toes towards the ceiling. Tailbone is gonna lift up a bit. Make sure that this is all coming from the core. We're gonna hold in the lifted position, even if you're not actually lifting, as long as you feel this. Try to relax the neck and shoulders. and then releasing the hips down, tailbone down. On your inhale, let's lower the left leg almost to the ground. Exhale and hold here. Inhale, right leg lowers. Exhale, both legs lift. Inhale, right leg down. Exhale, hold. Inhale, left leg down. Exhale, both legs lift. Now you might start to focus on lowering the legs a little more slowly to take up the whole inhale. Still trying to lift the tailbone just a little bit. Let's do one more on each side. And then grabbing insoles of the feet, find your happy baby. Come back to center. Extend the legs out. We're going to bring the feet as wide as the mat. And then arms alongside the ears. Let's try to keep the arms alongside the ears as long as possible. On your exhale, start to lift up to a seat, rolling one vertebra at a time. And then we're going to bring right hand to left foot, find a little twist and stretch. Inhale, back up to center. Exhale, slowly releasing down, same thing. Inhale to get longer, exhale, lift. And twist the opposite way. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, roll down. Really squeezing the belly in. And exhale to lift up. This time, hinging straight forward, we're gonna take three breaths here. Inhale to lift up. And lower down on the exhale. Inhale to get long and then exhale, lift up. Coming straight forward at that little last bit of your exhale, inhale up, exhale down. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, lift. Inhale, exhale to roll. Coming back up and forward. And then up and down. We're gonna just do two more.
last one. One last lift. And then we're gonna plant the heels down or the whole foot, whatever you prefer. We're gonna lean back. If you've got something you wanna grab for this, you can take some weight, but you don't need it. Leaning back is really the key here. And then finding your twists. So hands can be in prayer. We're just gonna start to twist side to side. When it feels like it's getting too easy, lean back a little bit more. Take five more. And then coming back to center, cross the ankles, roll forward onto hands and knees. Go through any movements that feel good. We're gonna take three more breaths and then we'll meet in plank. From plank, see if you can really flex the feet, press back, and feel that stretch in the calves. We're going to lower down to a count of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Inhale, find your sphinx pose, forearms to the ground chest drags forward. Three more breaths. Release down, inhale, press up to plank, and then exhale to down dog. Take any movements that feel good here, maybe shifting the hips side to side, bending the knees. Now let's bend the knees deeply. Heels can lift away from the ground. Press the hips back towards the thighs, or sorry, towards the heels. And keep the glutes and the quads working. So glutes squeeze, quads squeeze. Inhale forward to plank. Exhale, lower down, count of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Inhale, let's find baby cobra, but start really low. So um, chest is still on the ground, but you probably feel the low back starting to get into the mid back. So from here, press the elbows back. Feel the chest pressing forward, squeeze into the shoulder blades and then lift up a little bit more. Start to drag the chest forward, maybe push the chest up forward a tiny bit. Press down into the tops of the feet. Exhale to release. Inhale, press up to plank. Exhale, down dog. Find 
on your next exhale, step, hop, or float to the top of the mat. Inhale and find your half lift. Exhale, release down. Inhale, lift all the way up. And then exhale, release the arms down, palms facing forward, engage the belly, lengthen the tailbone, lift through the crown of the head. Feel the weight in the feet. Let your belly expand with your breath. Let's sit back to chair pose. Arms can reach forward or up. Tailbone lengthens down, press into the heels. Two more breaths. On your exhale, hands to heart. We're gonna step the right foot back, find high lunge. We're gonna really focus here on the front of the right hip, finding that stretch. So maybe the back knee bends to facilitate the stretch or maybe it lifts. Keep the belly in, front lower ribs tucked. Keep pressing into the left heel. On your exhale, both hands down, nice and slow. Let's hold here with the torso parallel to the ground. On your exhale, both hands down. Step back to plank. Let's take a few breaths here, really finding uh, some stability, maybe shifting weight more into the left than more into the right. Now come all the way over to the right, lift the left arm out to the left side. And then all the way to the left, lift the right arm out to the right side. Back to center. Let's lower down slowly with control. Inhale, baby cobra first. And then maybe staying in baby cobra, maybe lifting up. Release down. Press up to plank. Come back to down dog. Spread the fingers wide. Really press into the thumbs and the forefingers. And then when you're ready, make your way to the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, release down. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. Sit back, find your chair pose. 
chest is lifting, tailbone is lengthening down, pressing into the heels. Maybe squeezing the heels, the knees and the glutes away from each other. On your exhale, hands to heart. Let's step the left foot back, finding a high lunge. Focusing on the stretch in the front of the left hip. Really pressing into the right heel, squeezing the right glute. Arms can stay down or lift. On your next exhale, hinge forward, stopping at half leg. Exhale, both hands down, step back to plank. This time we'll shift forward and back a few times. And then slow lower down. Inhale to lift. Cobra, baby cobra. Sphinx, up dog. Let's release down. Press back to child's pose. Extend the arms forward. Now let's come forward to plank. We're going to press back, bending the knees, but keeping them lifted away from the ground. And then inhale forward. Exhale back. Inhale forward. See if you can find a little bit of power here. Back and forth. Strong through the core. Two more. And then pressing back to down dog. Let's step the feet a little closer together. And on your inhale, lift the left leg. Find the engagement in the left glute without lifting the left hip. On your exhale, step the left foot forward in between your hands. Lift up to your high lunge. Let's take a breath here. Keep the hands on the hips. We're going to hinge forward to 45. Pull the left hip back.
On your next inhale, find warrior three, right leg lifts. Now stepping back about halfway or two thirds of the way, setting up for pyramid pose. Hips turn forward. Make sure the feet are wide, hip width distance. And then as you hinge forward, keeping your hands on your hips, trying to keep the hips even. Maybe bringing hands to reverse prayer or hand to opposite elbow. On your inhale, press into both feet, lift all the way up nice and slow. Release the arms, reach them up. And then exhale, hinging down again, this time finding a stretch in the left side. Walk the hands forward, step the feet back, find your plank. On your exhale, slow lower down. Inhale, slow lift up. Find the place where it feels hard but not painful. Find the upper back working. Release down on your exhale. Inhale up to plank. Exhale back to down dog. We'll step the feet together, or at least closer. And then on inhale, lift the right leg high, keep the right hip aligned with the left, feel the right glute. We'll step right foot forward in between the hands. Lift up to your high lunge when you're ready. Hands can come to the hips. Focus on the belly and the breath. On your next exhale, hinge forward, coming forward to 45 degrees. Pull the right hip back a bit. We're going to lift up to warrior three on the next breath. Now stepping back half to two thirds of the way for your pyramid pose, feet are wide, square the hips. When you're ready, hinge forward. This might be very intense in the right leg, hamstring uh, and hip and glute. Hands can come to reverse prayer. Last breath. And then inhaling up, pressing into the feet. 
Let's lift the arms up on inhale. And then exhale, slow lower down. Find a stretch. Let's walk the hands forward and the feet back, find plank. Deep breath in, slow lower down. Cobra or baby cobra, 10 reps. After your 10 breaths, you can release down. Let's press back to child's pose. Walk your hands over to the left edge of your mat. Find the stretch on the right side of the torso. Maybe turn the chest to the left. center and over to the other side. Center. Inhale forward to plank. Exhale, press back, bent knees, send the hips back. Using some power to come forward on the inhale. Losing the core to keep you steady. Three more. Press back to your down dog. And then step or hop the feet forward at least halfway on your mat. Let's lift up to standing. Okay, we're gonna come into our um, standing one-legged balance series. So three poses. Same on each side, 10 or so reps each at your own pace. The first one, you can hold the knee or the toe, maybe straighten the leg. Second one, up to the side, knee or toe. Third one, no hands. So take a moment, begin when you're ready.
come down to his seat next. Sorry, one more breath. All right. So down in our seated position, hands can reach back. Feet are gonna come forward. We're gonna lift the hips and come into reverse tabletop. And then maybe bending the knees a little more deeply to find the stretch in the shoulders. You can pulse back and forth a few times. And then we'll lower the hips down. You might shift the position of your hands, walk the legs out straight. And we'll lift up to reverse plank. Let's lower the hips down. Shift forward to your seated forward fold. Maybe grabbing onto big toes with peace fingers if you can reach and bending the elbows outward. to lift up and then rolling onto your back we're going to come into a half shoulder stand so hips lift legs lift but the weight of the hips stays over the elbows Releasing the legs down for your plow pose. Make sure there's no weight in the neck. down one vertebra at a time. Let's bring soles of the feet together, knees wide, finding Supta Baddha In your next breath, Our legs can extend out, arms extend alongside the ears. We're gonna roll up one vertebra at a time. And then come over onto hands and knees. Let's take a few rounds of cat cow. And then we'll slide the right knee forward, left leg back and find your, um, Pigeon pose. 
So any variation, if the right hip can't touch the ground, support it with a towel, a block, whatever you've got. You can stay lifted or you can lower down. take five more breaths here. start to transition over to the other side. Left knee comes forward when you're ready. Start to make your way back. Hands and knees first if you'd like, and then you can come down to your back whenever you're ready. Oh, no, wait. Let me take that back. We have a little bit more time. Let's bring legs wide, toes and knees turning upward, and then lifting through the crown of the head first, and then we'll hinge forward. Inhale, you can lift up, come onto your back. We're going to do one more stretch on our backs. Start out by reaching behind your left thigh, grab your right foot, right knee down, 
left knee can start to pull into the chest if you want to go deeper or left foot to the ground. Switch sides, right hand to left foot. Ready, you can release out and find your shavasana for this time. And start to scan the body once you've found your stillness. Starting at the left toes, working your way up to the crown of the head, and then back down to the right toes.
let's start to bring some gentle movement into fingers, toes, arms, and legs. Make your way up to a seat any way you'd like. Bring hands to heart, deep breath in, full exhale out, Om Shanti. Thanks guys. Good to see you all. Thanks, Amanda. You're welcome. You'll get in the park tonight at 5.30 if you're feeling like another sesh. I'll have to catch you next week, but um, yeah, is it every Tuesday now? Every Tuesday, 5.30. Okay, awesome. Have a good one.